has been falling on the Beachy Creek fire, and that is welcome relief for many hundreds of people who've been smoked out and dried up for more than a week. Yeah, Cora Harlan is at the roadblock on Highway 22 with something else likely to delight local residents. <laughs> That's what we're wiping out. It's cleanup day for gingerbread owner Diane Pantovich and her two helpers, scrubbing away ash and grit that got inside, spraying down menus, and trying to get the place reopened this weekend. The reopening coincides with the first significant rain that fell here early Friday morning. And for Diane and many others, the rain is the first sign of normal she's seen in over a week. A lot of relief. A lot of relief. And then you have that bittersweet feeling that we have everything. So many people lost everything and stuff. So, And I'm thankful for the fire department and whoever came over and saved our little corner. The gingerbread house was built here along the road in 1953. It was surrounded by trees until about 15 years ago when a storm blew them down. The trees spared the restaurant then. Flames spared the building last week. It's a place that knows how to endure, and Diane says community support has kept her little slice of heaven here alive. Now she says it's time for her to reopen and return the favor by helping with the Sandy Am Canyon Relief Fund. I want to get in with them and have something up here for this canyon. They've given us so much that it's time to pay back.